All right, guys, Balian here again. Uh, this time I'm only going to show you how to create a selection button here. Okay, I'm going to do that from scratch. And I'm um, noticing that a number of you are um, not selecting all the controls and creating these beautiful, simple columns here. So if I press Sony here, for example, I see my columns, okay, like that. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so we're going to be, let's say, at frame, uh, let's see, I'm going to be in this position. And I'm going to create a passing position here, like that. And let's just go from here, press S for a second. And here's a couple things, okay? So my next position here will be contact again, okay? This is so-called uh, uh, one of my passing positions. It's not perfect. It's not tweaked. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to go to the next frame. I'm going to press S because all my controllers are selected. And then I'm going to move the character, okay? Like that. And then I'll bring the... Uh, the foot here, I'll zero this out here, boom, and zero there, it, it lands, and so on. Like, you got to get rid of the foot roll and all that, okay? So let's pretend that this is a good, oh, this is an okay pose. And you see, so the character has landed and maintaining that angle. And then once I'm done, I'm also going to go back to it again and press S. So let's see, how do we create this button now? All right, let's go down here. Go to your script editor, which underneath the runner, dude, which is your preferences. So the first thing you do is you clear this all out. X. Step out here. X again. There's nothing in here now, okay? Here's my view. A couple things you guys can do. You can go like this, show, get rid of the polygons. So all you have is NURB curves. Okay, I have NURB curves here and I've hidden everything okay so show you guys normally have everything on it's a little too distracting I have lights and everything so I usually go show click on here and I'll say none I'll just put NURB curves because that's all I care about right now and polygons okay for you guys let's say let's hide the polygons okay and now I'm gonna select everything yeah normally what I do is I, I don't select this bottom one so if I can go shift select that's deselected okay the master so I'm gonna go like this middle scroll up here Okay, I'm going to let go. And then it's going to ask you, do you want Mel script or Python? I want Mel, M-E-L. Okay, and then you close this. You say bye-bye. Then you come over here on your button. Maya has given you. You can change the icons if you like. It's going to be kind of cool to do our own. And we'll just go to edit right here, edit. And then you'll go to shells, okay? Under icon label, mm -hmm. right here. All right, so I'm going to call this Sony. I already wrote Sony, but I'm going to call it Sony. Z Sony Zombie. Okay, so there it is. Save to all shells. That's all you gotta do. And then you know, like I can, I can normally when I'm animating, I I have the main uh, controls that I use. Every one of them up here. I create like you know for the hip. I do for the head, for the wrists, and I just go click, 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 and I can just select who, whichever one I want. Right now, this is an entire selection, and that's all you say. Save to all shells. Okay. So now, if I'm to double check that this is working, you go to on a new key here new frame uh, sorry new frame click on Sony Z if it's highlights here that means you did it right okay so at this point I'll bring the polygons back lovely all right so I'll show you again to animate the next pose here we landed and a couple things I forgot to do is go weight shift so I'll just select here look in the camera pose and boom this guy's over like that so, you know, it'd be okay if this was actually a front view at the moment, orthographic, uh, or is a front. And yeah, so it's coming side to side when it lands, okay? And I usually keep the head rotated and so on. It's, it's kind of like, it's cool, right? First pose, contact, passing. This is all I want from you guys, passing, okay? On the other side. So you can look over here, you can see one, two, three. And usually when you're passing, you're, you're not on the same height. You're going up and then coming back down to contact. And then there's a down position where you go down. And then there's an up position that I don't want you to work with until you do all your contacts, your passings, and your rever and the opposite foot uh, leg contact. Okay? So that's a nice review of creating buttons. It's a lot of fun. Okay, and usually I would I would create them under custom, and I would have a bunch. Okay, so if I was really spending a lot of time on this, I would just come in here and uh, select the head, and come in here, and you'll see now. Let me delete everything. For example, okay, this yellow control here. See, this is the head. So I would go like this, middle scroll up here, and I'll go Mel, and I'll right click, go to edit, and this time I'm going to go to shells. I'm going to go zombie. Z underscore H E A D. You won't see all your letters, but three to four is okay. So there's my head. Okay, so if I want to do the wrist, or let's say here, 
what is this the chest yes that's a good one I use this often so I'll just come up here pop it mel beautiful right click on it edit come back to shelf I'm gonna keep this for Z for zombie and I'll just go chest okay and so on and so on and this one's huge actually this this next one here is huge as well so that's what I would do for this one specifically all the Z's are the zombie and this would be the body right here boom because I play around with that without it I can't do much and here again edit pop shelves come over here Z underscore I'm gonna call this uh, well it's not the hip but it is the body so there's another controller I know you guys are in high school it should be more than enough I'm rambling bellying out see ya